another beautiful day in Tennessee. Time to start working on the Bronco again. So here's what it looks like so far. And the next step is I'm gonna start sanding the entire side of the vehicle. So my process is gonna be wash with laundry deter dish detergent. Go do a 100, 150, 220, and finish up with 400, which I probably won't be doing today. I wanna to do the 400 the day that I uh, prime, just so that it's nice and fresh when I lay it on there. So, nothing to it but to do it. So we're all washed, and what I'm gonna do is kinda of walk you through my game plan. The worst area on the vehicle is definitely the upper edge of the clear coat. As you can see, I've been sanding on a little bit already, and it's just been obliterated for the most part. So uh, a few weeks ago I came through and I started sanding to see what the different layers would feel like and it actually starts to feel pretty good even if I use the towel test I can barely feel anything as far as a elevation change in the paint. So I'll probably just leave well enough alone, just feather it in, maybe run over with the glaze to try to smooth it out just a little bit more but for the type of vehicle it's on not too worried um, it's gonna what it's gonna look so much better than it did so you can't complain too much good morning another beautiful day in Tennessee I'm here to start continue working on the Bronco so uh, yesterday I ended up going along and painting the entire sides of both of them got it all touched up nice as you can see, it's probably got the worst sun damage on it. I'm going to end up probably taking the angle grinder and smoothing this area out and just try to get all the rust off of there. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably try to do a quick skim coat of Bondo on there just to try to make it more uniform uh, across the way. Um, this was a lot of sanding. Hopefully that won't be as much as not nearly the surface area. I'll also be working on the top of this thing. I don't know how you're going to be able to tell, but it just got waves and bumps all in it. So I'm not going to focus too hard on getting perfect because it's not ever going to be perfect. And I'm okay with that. So while I was sanding and grinding on this, trying to get all the spots that had let loose to fade in, I noticed that there was a couple spots that had a little bubbling going on. So I started to do some exploratory grinding on those. And what I'm finding is you can see where there's little, it almost looks like copper to me. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on these, on the recording, but you can see where it's showing up underneath it. That's where, there's probably a hole that made it all the way through down to metal and so it was rusting so looks like it's a little rough it's 
some areas more so than others. So I'll probably end up grinding on those with the grinder and then fill them in with Bondo, try to get that rust out. But we'll see what next, it might last, it might not, we'll see.